it is a classification of supraventricular tachycardias based on the rp interval long and short rp tachycardias are two groups of supraventricular tachycardias depending on the interval between the r wave and the p wave of the next cycle in the ecg shown here rp is shorter and pr interval is longer than the rp interval this is a short rp tachycardia typical slow fast av nodal reentrant tachycardia is the most common type of short rp supraventricular tachycardia it is called slow fast tachycardia in which impulse travels downwards through slow pathway and back through the fast pathway p waves are not seen in 80% typical avnrt because it is within the qrs in 20% it is visible just after the qrs accessory pathway mediated atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia is the other form of short rp tachycardia in which the p wave falls at the end of the qrs long rp tachycardias include a typical fast slow avnrt in which the impulse travels down the fast pathway and back through the slow pathway since the return circuit is slow pathway rp interval is longer than the pr interval other forms of long rp tachycardia are atrial tachycardia and pjrt or permanent junctional reentrant tachycardia sinus tachycardia is also a differential diagnosis for long rp tachycardia which must be differentiated mainly by the p wave morphology and axis which will suggest the activation sequence from the sinus node downwards into the both atria